Who's too good? You want that last calamari? Yeah. I've been on this side of town all these years, and I ain't never oh, know about this. So let's talk about these natural raccoon fox fur slides. These are my absolute favorite, and we're just going to get right on into how to make them and what you need to make them. This video is intended for informational purposes only. You can actually get this material by the yard from your nearest fabric store. It costs about $15, and it comes in all colors. Or you can get a pelt. This right here is a raccoon fox fur pelt. P-E-L-T. This is a pelt of mink fur. You can get a pelt in all colors. You can either get it in fox or mink. This is actually how I make the designer slides, by cutting it out and then inputting the letters in different colors of different pelts. Whenever you cut a pelt up individually, you then have trims. Now, trims are sold by the pair, so you'll always have two to make a pair of slippers. So that's what I'll be using today. After I cut up my pelt a raccoon, now I have these trims that I'm just going to apply to my Nike slides. I buy Nike slides from Zappos. Zappos ships next business day for free, no taxes. I think that's depending on where you're located. And Nike slides come in all sizes, infant, toddler, men's, women's. And I think the men's slides go up to size 15, I believe. Yeah. So everyone gets a pair of slippers and no one gets left behind at all, ever. <laughs> And don't forget with the glue, you want to be generous, but also light-handed. So what I'm going to do is just go in and glue the entire strip, making sure I'm pressing and holding, securing it down. And the entire strip has to be glued down. I know you're saying like the entire strip doesn't cover the whole slipper, but that's okay. Because the raccoon fox is so thick that if I did cover the entire slipper... Both slippers would just be knocking into each other. And you don't want that. So what you do is you then take a piece of the fur that you already glued on from the trim. And you just cover all the sides. Front, back, side, everything. I'm saying front, back. That's not what I mean. I mean the top where the toes go. You want to cover that a little. And the bottom where you insert the foot. And both sides. I hope I made that clear. <laughs> There we go, I just finger parted the fur and glued it down. That way I cover this side that wasn't covered and I do it on the other side and look, now both sides are covered. See? <laughs> okay, we're almost done. So just quick recap, just so that everyone is on the same page. And of course I have to use the comb that way. Both sides are laying flat, but besides the point, back to the recap. You can either buy the raccoon box fur by the yard from your nearest fabric store, buy the pelt from online. I don't know if they sell it in store. If they do, it's probably, probably retail instead of wholesale. Or you can buy it by the trims where you always get a pair and that's perfect for individual use. So we're done. Yay. Thanks for watching and any questions, be sure to comment below. Subscribe. That would be nice. Bye.